Stephen, after um, another disappointing loss on the weekend, how crucial will it be to try to finish off the season on somewhat of a positive note against Port Adelaide? Oh yeah, this week's massive. We, you know, we need the the momentum going into pre-season to look forward to, you know, a big pre-season coming up. So, you now this week against Port Adelaide is going to be a huge test for our boys. Is this season, in a way, does it seem a bit like deja vu in 2015? Like again, last year you were also hit with pretty bad injury toll. I think on the injury front, it is similar to last year, but we've made huge gains as a footy club this year on and off field. Um, so we've laid a lot of foundations and we've, we've found some younger players who, who can be a part of our team next year. So you know, apart from the injuries, it, it's been a successful year. Although the wins don't stack up, we feel like we're in a better place. Kevin, are you going to be keeping a close eye on a fitness test happening at Alberton this week? Yep. Uh, be interested to see if um, Charlie gets up for the game. Um, you know, I've, I've played on him a lot at training, but you know, never for real. So. Um, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how he pulls up. Um, how's the sort of review been after the, the couple of weeks down in Melbourne and the results that you've had there? Was it was it pretty brutal, or how'd it go? Yeah, we deserved it. Um, you know, Rocket's renowned for you know his brutal reviews, but um, we you know full credit to him. Like he has to dish it up when we when we need it, and we certainly need it after the last two disappointing weeks. And um, you know he's he's got the boys fired up, and we're ready to go one one last game of the year, and we want to finish on a, on a good note. Would you prefer? him to pass the test or fail the test. He's the story, you know. <laughs> Big Charlie coming back, playing on you. Um, I'd prefer for him to play, to be honest. That'll be a lot of fun. Um, yeah, like I said before, I've never played on him in an actual game, so it'll be interesting. And um, But, you know, we'll, we'll see how he pulls up. And, you know, I'm sure Port Adelaide will take care of his interests and not just a little rivalry between him and me. But, um, yeah, we'll see how we go. How, do, how does it go? I mean, you obviously, I'm sure you would have had, like, Matchups and training and stuff like that, where you're sort of playing yeah, against forwards. Yeah, how are you going? <laughs> uh, well, yeah, it's interesting. I, I played a lot on on Lynchy at during during the preseason matches because uh, Big Rory takes Charlie because he's a, you know bigger body. But um, I'm sure my Rory and myself will both swap on him and Schultz if, if he gets up. So I don't know about the score. Probably he would say it's in his favour. But um, yeah, it, it doesn't mean anything until it's you know it's in a real game. Are you surprised how well you uh, I guess particularly Pete who's come in? No, definitely. Um, I, you know, I was, I was a little bit worried when Charlie left last year that, you know, he's such a big man. He was a crucial, crucial part of our forward line. That, and I thought maybe Pete was a bit young. Um, but to his credit, he's he's really come along well and developed into a, you know, an AFL player and, and he's, he's a solid contributor. So, I thought he's he stepped up in Charlie's absence. But um, yeah, I've, I've been really happy with Pete's progress. Is that part of the growth of the club as well as the fact that you? I mean, you guys all sort of came together as, as young boys, and now we're seeing a few uh, a few blokes sort of moving on, going to other clubs. Is that something the club's got to deal with as well, coming up against guys you've sort of grown up with, and, and now they're somewhere else? Yeah, well, it feels like you know we only got here a couple of years ago, and you know now a couple of players have moved on. Um, you know, as I say, it, it goes fast, but it, yeah, it really does. You don't realise until. Till you're in the system, but it's all part of the game. You know, the um, AFL. You know, it's 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 a it's a brutal business, and um, sometimes players make um, choices based on you know their best interests, and sometimes clubs make um, you know deal listings and trades based on the club's best interests. So um, we're still good friends with everyone, but you know it, it's it's a business and it's a game, and um, the boys have moved on, and, and we've moved on. We've focused a lot two years now on who's not in the team rather than who is. But when pre-season starts on day one, do you, do you reckon you know who your best 22 is? Like some of these replacement players now, Took Mill as an example, legitimate claims to being first choice players. I think, yeah, in, you know, once we've lost all these injuries, um, players have really put their hands up to cement their spot. Um, at the start, it may have been a, you know, a fill-in or a replacement, but I think it's their spot to lose now. So the boys who are injured have to prove themselves over summer and with form. To get back in, and I think that's only going to make our club stronger because it's going to be a lot more competition for spots, and there's no walk-up starters. And I think that's just yeah, it's going to help us in 2017.